Hello, there we go. Should be working now. So RIP Jeff Ragsdale. I love you, man. You were definitely a conflicted soul. There's no doubt about that, but you were you had your moments of greatness and I I will miss you. He died of cancer in this last uh in uh, September 3rd, I suppose. <sighs> So, yes, so the case did not get dismissed with prejudice, as I was told by, by some who came before. And no, I don't think YouTube is going to let this go out to anybody but YouTube, I guess, so that they can, I don't know, I don't know how they could use my own live streams against me. I mean, it seems a little uncouth, but I don't put it past them. And they're, um, they were denied. YouTube or Google, I should say, it wasn't actually, it was Google. It's funny. It's like it was Google the whole time. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. And that's no longer being even, there's no, there's not really any dilly dallying around that fact. It was a, as a matter of fact, the monster that I was suing was Google the whole time. Uh, which is just gross. It's just gross. I have so much research that it's, it's absolutely absurd. Promissory estoppel is so highly likely in this, in, in this situation. I don't, I, in all the research I did, I didn't see anything quite like this. I didn't see any. I have to put on X so that I can have anybody just see me. Because we all need to be seen. Honestly, fucking shit that I've been through this past. But you know what? It's all, it's just made me stronger. It's definitely not been fun though. It's not fun. I, I wouldn't get into a lawsuit for fun. It isn't fun. I'll, I, I'll tell you that now, and not now to you. Uh, it's not a fun situation to be in at all. And you know, all right, Jeff. Jeff, I know you're there. I know you're like. I know you're right. Right by. I. Now that I know you're dead for sure, <laughs> because you you were you were a handful, but you were at your heart you were kind. I think I don't know exactly everything you did. I know that you didn't start the whole campaign against me. Out there. So Google, Google was denied, by the way. I just want to put that clearly. Google said, oh, we don't have, um, I don't know, we don't have to have subject matter jurisdiction in order for you to give us immunity. And the judge said, no, that's incorrect. And the thing about the whole suit was like, I kept thinking the things that, that I was being told by their, by their representation we're, we're incorrect a lot of the time. I kept thinking, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't add up. This is not, this is not true. This is just not true. This is just not true. It's just not true. I just, uh, 
but when you're in when you're a pro se litigant, it's not fun. It's not fun. It might have been the most harrowing experience, but now that I've gone through it and seen, the judge can deny the pro se litigant, but he can also deny Google themselves. That Google is about as human as I am. The fact that they thought they could just do whatever they wanted, and that clearly isn't the case. And even if you read the judge's analysis, I don't think he was inclined to rule super quickly in that favor either. Now, that's an interpretation. However, imminent threats, you know, there, there, there's plenty, there's plenty, so much. There's so much to pick from in terms of what Mr. Thompson and Mr. Holmes propagated against me that it is maddening and sickening. And I don't have any other choice but to take it to state court where I think the evidence will speak for itself and it will ha- it will be quick. It will be quick. Google will finally see that it is not above the law at all, at all, and that it never was, and that sometimes all it takes is just one honest voice to come forth and say, hey. Oh, and uh, as for, you know, anybody who might want to tell the state bar that I'm planning a class action lawsuit against YouTube, no, I, I, I think I've actually made it fairly clear that I'm not doing that. Uh, I I think I told the judge in the complaint that I would be, oh no, in one of the, sorry, in one of the leaves to amend, uh, I told the judge, that I did not want to do a class action settlement. That, 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 that is, that, that was just merely not, it wasn't, it's not my style. It's also, I don't, I don't feel that I can speak on behalf of anyone else, nor do I care to at this point because uh, I only know me and I know what happened to me. Other people are going to have to say it for themselves. You know, I, 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 it's not my, it's not my business. It's not my business, you know, like to say like uh, anything. Ugh, and you know, ugh. oh, I'm so disgusted by it all. Oh, nine comments, and it's all. I don't know who who thought that. I don't know who thought um, that this turnout was like me losing. It actually, it was not. It was far, 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 far. So far from losing, it's almost like, no, it wasn't, I mean, it just isn't that. In fact, it's a win. This is what I actually wanted to have happened once it got to the point of after the hearing and after I had some time to digest the hearing on September 11th, I realized, oh, and I even emailed Google's attorney and said, I'm, I'm going to I'm planning to withdraw without prejudice because I don't think I have subject matters jurisdiction uh, at this point. The judge basically gave it to me straight and he was right. Uh, well, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what they ruled. But the fact the matter of the fact is that right now, currently, I could refile in federal court if I wanted to. And have subject matter jurisdiction. Why? Because currently, right now, I own about a hundred copyrights that are all being violated and infringed by Michael Thompson and Gregory Holmes. Because one of those guys cannot go without the other for one doesn't have any power without the other. Uh, it's simply a matter of fact that they are a 
dual partnership. Uh, I don't have anything to do with, if you want to compare it to Brett and I, I mean, I know that some of you may be compelled to do that. Uh, have you ever seen Brett get on here and talk to you guys? No. No, he never has. Never. Not once. Not even one time. Has Brett ever been in the comment and in the chat section? Nope. Not even one time. Not even one time. Not even one time. <laughs> not e like not even one time. That should be some evidence to let you know that per fact. He has nothing to do with what I'm doing at all. And I have nothing to do with what he's doing other than we are in each other's lives and maybe there's some influence, but there's no Brett do this or Todd do that. I never tell Brett what to do and I expect the same. And guess what? Why do you think we're together? That's why. That's why. Because I wanted somebody who wouldn't tell me what to do and he wanted someone who wouldn't tell him what to do and we like that about each other but we all and and you know uh it's really not a similar situation at all uh I did not like. I, I don't. I don't know if 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 Mr. Holmes and Mr. Thompson feel good about about the outcome. I wouldn't if I were them. Why? Because I'm about to refile it in state court this week, and there's a long arm statute, and um, we'll just see how that how that goes. You know, we'll see how like uh, they were clearly engaging in California based companies. They also knew Robin Eaglesong, who lives in the Los Angeles area. They also, I'm the victim. I mean, how many, uh, uh, that, you know, I, I don't think the judge said that they didn't uh, have a sufficient contact. I think the judge merely said, this does not belong in federal court. It belongs in the state court, which is where it's going to be filed Monday. Monday. I'm not even waiting. You know, I'm not even waiting. I'm, I'm, we're going to go right to it. And, and, uh, the amount of abuse recounted in the judge's analysis is so sickening. It's not all correct. The judge didn't, uh, there's a couple things that the judge, and that is my fault that, that I did not write the complaint as a, a seasoned attorney might have. Uh, so I definitely understand how the judge, Judge Kronstadt would have uh, not fully interpreted everything exactly as I meant it. Uh, but the, most of it, he was right on. I mean, but there was a couple instances where I, I saw a disparity between the way he interpreted what I had said um, and, uh, and, and, and his analysis. Um, but he did definitely didn't, did not toss this out. And it's definitely uh, next week. I mean, it's Monday. I mean, it's Friday. What is it? Friday? Yeah, so it's it's going Monday. I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not hesitating. Uh, <laughs> the best part about it is that you know Google, they thought they knew so much better than me that they thought they didn't even need subject matter jurisdiction for the judge to give them immunity, which wasn't true. Which wasn't true. Which it was wrong. It was incorrect. They were incorrect. And that, what does that tell you? What does it tell you that they were incorrect? Well, if you're from my perspective, um, Tells you that they don't know everything and that they're honestly the fact that they put before a, a federal judge, Google's lawyer put before put before a federal judge an argument that simply had no weight at all. To the extent the judge literally stated there's no case law to back up this thing. He said 
there's no, uh, there's nothing in the case law to say that I can give you immunity uh, uh, here. He said that. That's in the analysis. Like, like, I don't know what you mean by you don't. That's what the Google's lawyer, the, Google's lawyer said at the hearing. At the hearing, the Google's lawyer said this. We don't need subject matter jurisdiction for you to give us immunity. The judge said, um, yes, you do need subject matter jurisdiction to give get immunity for me to give you immunity. Now, uh, the fact is there is a copyright issue now. So like I said, I could, it's, it was dismissed without prejudice. And I, on top of that, I was given a 30 day stay to continue the action in state court, which is what I will be doing. And I will be bringing further infringement claims against Mr. Thompson. Mr. Holmes is more part of the harassment component, but he really is a part of the copyright infringement too. He's basically this, the reason it takes two to tango in this instance. It takes both of them. Uh, but uh, Mr. Thompson is likely the one who clicked the button publish, but as for who's running the whole shagig, I think it's both of them. Um, but honestly, I own copyrights now that are being infringed. Right now, at this very moment, there's publishing of my copyright. I literally made two movies, y'all. Two movies. And I copyrighted both of them. And one of them has about 20 plus infringements that are currently happening right now. There's, it's published on the internet, published from an account. And there's 80 copyrights. I'm making movies of this because this is, this was a horrific experience. It was a horrific, horrific experience and I pray that it doesn't ever happen again. Uh, I pray. I pray. That's that's sort of a, a motivation here. Is that this doesn't happen to anybody else. So if anyone thought that there was this like grand I don't know if anyone thought that. See look look look. Look. You may have free speech, but at this point, all the screen names there are liable for harassment because this is like, how many times now have you come in and done this? How many times? How many times? Many times. Many times is the answer. Um, you've been told. You've been. You've been warned. You've been. I've told you. Please don't come in here anymore. Don't talk to me anymore. Your free will is having you come in here and do this. No. Yeah, well, you're allowed to. <laughs> you know, when I was making those two movies, what I noticed, really, I was like, God damn. That guy is agitated. And I'm talking about myself. That guy is agitated. That guy is being like, like something is, is making him, is annoying him, is, is agitating him over and over. Why is he in a constant battle with the computer? What's, the, what's he? Oh, right here. Who are these two accounts? The judge did not even allude. He did not even suggest that this was a frivolous lawsuit, by the way. There was no, there was, because it's absolutely not. The judge did not even suggest that. Just to let everybody know, I don't know. The thing is, here's what the most likely thing is that happened, is that the... Uh, uh, I'm sure Google was not happy because they were denied their immunity. Uh, and 
the other parties probably thought, eh, maybe he's had enough. You know, maybe he he won't refile. It'll just be. But honestly, like, if you thought that, why would I filed in the first place? Why? Why? Simply why? I honestly wanted. I believed that federal court would help create precedents against this type of terror. I also believe that you're targeting me based on certain characteristics. Now, was I able to prove that to the judge in the length of time that I had? No. As a pro se first time litigant, no. Did the judge dismiss it with prejudice? As one Veronica May once said, that the judge will dismiss this with prejudice, which he never did. He said, here's a 30 day stay refile it in state court, which is happening Monday. And all of the copyright infringement claims will be filed as well. It has literally just begun. Court doesn't work. It doesn't work as quickly as, as we would like it. <laughs> oh, man. Look, you know what? You guys are like uh, horrible, horrible. You two. I don't know who, who's in here doing this, but horrible. I mean, you're horrible. You're, you're hurting me. Maybe you'll kill me. Maybe you'll ultimately kill me with your harassment. I can't hold myself back from living my life or expressing myself as I would like to just because you choose to break the law. Literally, you're doing it still. Don't you think that that's going to demonstrate something to the judge? I mean, honestly, the amount of harassment, honestly, like, I'm not even, I'm not even scared. I don't. Don't be so dramatic. What the fuck are you doing in, in this chat? Can't you even get it through your head? You know what I thought when I was making those movies and, and copywriting those claims? I was thinking, he looks agitated. He looks, he looks angry. And I'm a king, first of all. Second of all, <laughs> you can't just harass someone and then when they say you're harassing me, you call them a drama queen and say, oh, you're not really being harassed. Yes, I really, really, really am. And yes, yes, it was because of Mr. Thompson. But also Mr. Thompson profited from my copyrights as well on his webcast. And uh, Mr. Holmes helped him profit on those copyrights. In, well, directly by giving him money, uh, but then also encouraging it and then boosting the community of people that would give him money. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You guys can just, uh, it was just this was, yeah, okay. The state will come to the same conclusion. Hmm. Well, if the state also came to the conclusion that it didn't have subject matter jurisdiction, it would actually bump it back up to federal court. But then federal court would be like, well, why? Do <laughs> it can't come to the same conclusion. It can't. It can't. <laughs> it can't. It can't. Oh, 
man. Honestly, I'd just like to say to anyone who's not part of the cult or whatever it is that, that went after me, don't listen to what they say. They're liars. They're absolute, unmitigated, incessant liars. Liars. They lie at every turn. I don't know why. I don't know why they would feel the need to lie to this extent when things have become litigated or are in litigation, which is the song that I now own the copyright to, along with about 100 other copyrights that are pre-registered, and I'm making a documentary because I own the content. It's my, this is my content right here. I own this. You know who can use it? YouTube. They can use it with a license, I believe, per their terms of conditions and conditions. But not Mr. Thompson, who knows, quite frankly, quite frankly, it would defy logic Mr. Thompson not to understand that he's not allowed to use my content. It, it would just defy reality. He knows he's not. And if he does, he's infringing, but he's already infringing because I own the copyrights and it's currently published. And that's called the statutory, statutory damages, I believe, depending on whether you go by the injury or the... Um, there's two ways to look at it. I think it's about the date of publication or the la date of last infringement. Now, I don't know when this particular iteration of my copyrights was published, but I know where it came from. It came from all three defendants, actually. It came from YouTube. It came from Thompson and Holmes, all three. And also, I want to speak to people who are normal, who might hear logic. There's no pawning off to the state. There was a comment by, I believe it was either Mr. Thompson or Mr. Holmes. As per my best logic, that's who I, I don't know who else would harass me like, like this. Um, but like, there's no pawning off. It doesn't work that way. The Honestly, my experience of the judge was that he was fairly nonplussed or, 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 or non, um, he was, he kept his car, his cards very close to the vest, as they say, uh, or the, to the chest, to, to the vest. He, he didn't really emote, you know, and I felt, a, I felt a little unheard at times, but I think he gave out what the what I learned through the litigation process was basically the correct the correct judgment, which, which was uh, I guess that I don't I mean it, it's unfortunate that uh, there's just there's a, a copyright. It, honestly, there's a lot of arguments to be made, um, but the, the fact of the matter is I now own the copyrights and I now own quite a bit of pre-registration, like quite a bit, I, like hundreds. I, I, I own hundreds of copyrights that are being infringed right now um, by Mr. Thompson and Mr. Holmes. Who clicked publish? Probably Mr. Thompson. Why? Probably because of Mr. Thompson and Mr. Holmes. You know, really, it hurts me what what's what you guys continue to do. 
but that's why I'm taking it to court. You think it's funny to do this to people, and it's not. R.I.P. Jeff Ragsdale, man. I loved you. <laughs> we definitely had our problems, but I definitely connected with you, and I miss you, and I hope that you're dancing with the angels. So for anybody who's following the case, there was zero dismissal of the case. I mean, it was dismissed without prejudice. And I was given a 30-day stay to remove the current cause of action to state court because it's basically harassment. It's telecommunications. It's, and that will fall under California's jurisdiction. Because this is YouTube. And even in YouTube's terms of service, they say that. Now, maybe Mr. Thompson will argue, look, they didn't follow their terms of service when it came to me harassing or violating Mr. Schultz's copyright. So why should their terms of service mean anything? And I would say, hey, that's an argument. I don't disagree with that at all. Their terms of service doesn't really mean shit, does it? I mean, not to them at least. But I think that might be a, a, a stretch. I think that would be a stretch, a big stretch. Now, if the honestly, like, read the analysis. It's docket number 94. If anybody wants it, contact me. I'll send you the judge's analysis. You'll see where I messed up, and you'll see where... The judge never said anything akin to uh, the best thing that could have happened for you guys was that for you guys, Sam even said, like, this is part of the damage that gets done to you when people continuously stalk and harass you in bad faith is that you get stuck in a loop and you, and that's, that's a trauma. That's a trauma. That's a trauma. That is a trauma. Because you, you, you can't, yeah, well, I mean, come on. It's like trapping a raccoon in a, in a, a cage or something. Can you please stop? It sucks that I won't be able to see any of the people that I like or even have the potential to even connect to anybody because of these people who, who are in literally cannot stop harassing me. They honestly believe it's because they think they're going to kill me. They think that they're going to like kill me basically. And they're going to basically prevent me from seeing them by basically causing me so much emotional turmoil and havoc that I just can't do it. But honestly, that's not going to happen. Not, 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 not going to happen. Never was going to happen. It's going right to state court as where it belongs per the judge's ruling. I think it's, I think it's fair. I think it's fair. It's a fair ruling. 
based on what I know, which is not that much. I'm a first time pro se litigant. I don't know if there, it, it, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It does hurt me to see people be mean to, to people. I'm just, I, I actually was just, you know, on the, the state website. Uh, to, to file, I'm refiling it. I'm refiling in state court where I guess it belongs per the judge's orders. But there's also other things that will be filed too because there's current infringements right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. This is my content. This is mine. I'm <laughs> filming it. I'm creating it. I'm being in it i'm writing it i'm it's mine and the people that stole it from me have no originality or creativity uh that they're willing to be vulnerable enough to let it out you know they, they they're self-hating or i don't i don't actually care They shouldn't be even fucking watching me. But Mr. Thompson literally posted a something on YouTube that indicated, which I sent to his lawyer, it indicated that he was targeting people and harassing them. Maybe, maybe irrespective of their gender. Actually, no, I think it was not irrespective of anything. I think everybody that they picked and targeted, it was because of their gender, race, sexual orientation, etc. It was because of everything. All factors are weighed. How much can we get away with? Are they a transgender person? Do they have mental illness? That's really one that they like. They really like the people that they perceive as being mentally ill. They really like to prey on the mentally ill, which is why it may have the things federal courts don't recognize the, I guess, the Americans with Disability Act in court. Uh, but I don't, I don't know about the state. We'll find out. Um, but it's going right to state court. There's literally going to be a not. The judge never said anything about this not being a case. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing like that. I promise you. I promise you. I I'm, I just reread it. There was no indication that this was like some vexatious thing. Honestly, I would assume if it was absolutely vexatious, he wouldn't have given a stay, a 30-day stay. That's like a, a present. That's like a, a, an offering. I got my shoes on time, looking about you every single night. It's not enough for me to just stand by, and I'm thinking about you, baby. When I'm moving, I got my shoes on time, and I lost track of the wondering why. When I think about it, it makes me think I'm right. And I wonder about it and I don't know why well, Won't you tell me, baby And I'm over and out I got my shoes untied I'm thinking about you every single night It's not enough for me to just stand by Just thinking about you, baby I'm over and in, I got my shoes untied And I hope the answer to your question why Tell me you love me and I won't lie Thinking about it, you baby Sophisticated from a head to toe I miss something that you just don't know Oh, oh. I get warmer as I pass by And you look at me baby like my shoes untied And I start to drive me crazy When I'm wearing out I got my shoes 
arms untied and I'm thinking about you every single night It's not enough for me to just stand by Just thinking about you, baby And I'm over in it, I got my shoes untied I don't know the answer to your question Why? Tell me you love me and I won't lie Just thinking about you, baby Over and out, I got my shoes untied I got my shoes on top. He said I'm walking around with my shoes on top. And I'm walking around with my shoes on top. Just thinking about you, baby. When I'm wearing out, I got my shoes on top. Thinking about you every single night. It's not enough for me to just stand by. Thinking about you, baby. And I'm over it. And I got my shoes untied. And I hold the answer to your question. Why? Tell me, let me in. I won't lie. Thinking about you, baby. Now I got my shoes untied. Thinking about you every single night. It's not enough for me to just stand by. Thinking about you, baby, and I'm over and in. I got my shoes on tight, and I lost track of the reasons why. Tell me, let me in, I won't lie. Just thinking about you, baby. And I won't lie, thinking about you, baby. Oh, and then, and then there's the whole, uh, yeah. You know, I, I love Jeff. I did. He wrote a book called, uh, that's what Joe Endo, though. Jeff wrote, Jeff on Lonely Guy. Uh, Jeff is an amazing dude. He was an amazing dude. Uh, very flawed, but I loved him. I I had space for him in my heart for sure. And I think he did for me. I, one time he said to me, you shine so bright. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't really have anything to say that I didn't. That's what, you know, that's what I'll miss about Jeff is he could say stuff like that. Jeff was definitely connected to like, you know, he was a spiritual guy in a way powerful dude a powerful force um i wish he had understood some things that you some of his thoughts you know seemed to be his demons but he was not a bad i don't think he was bad to his core i i i think he was confused i don't i actually don't know i mean i'm sorry i don't know if i could have handled seeing him in the hospital but i, I miss him i miss him i miss jeff i i, I wish he was still here, and I'm sad. It sucks. This is cheers to Jeff Ragsdale. I believe he has published a book. Um, <laughs> I believe he's here with us. Cheers, Jeff, to you. I don't know what you were thinking a lot of the time, to be quite honest. I really don't know. I don't, uh, da, da, yeah. I don't know if it's better or worse. I think it's probably better. There.
Take down the copyright stuff, dude. If you're watching that, dude, take it down. Honestly, you need to pay. This is so unacceptable for what this is. This is exactly cyber stalking. This is cyber stalking. Look at it is cyber stalking. It's hundred percent. There's there. It's quite obvious. It's this is cyber stalking. This is what's happened to me. And I is I've been cyber stalked. And so that's why I'm like agitated and yelling at specific people that I'm not even friends with is because they have harassed me. And not only that, but they stole my content, posted it and made fun of me on this webcast, which there's a reasonable way to make fun of people. There's a, there's a legal way to do it too, to be honest. A lot of people do it. A lot of people do it. A lot of people on YouTube make fun of other people without breaking the law. A lot, a lot. The, the, you know what? I didn't, I didn't file before, but also these were live broadcasts. There's so many different aspects of the law. I've learned that there's a lot of overlapping and it's very hard to pin down exactly what the, you know, that's why you have opinions instead of like, you know, it's not all statutory relief. It's not all like this happened. So give them this, right? You have to have opinions. And that's, that's because it's a very complicated process. Very complicated. Very complicated, which I learned. It's so complicated that Google's own lawyer was wrong, was denied his motion to, dis, uh, to be immunized. Google was not given immunity under 230 by Judge Kronstadt, nor did Judge Kronstadt agree with their, their opinion that he was – was even able to do so because he lacked subject matter jurisdiction, which means he doesn't have jurisdiction over the issues at a hand, which included YouTube. I don't even think he really had that much empathy for that argument either, to be quite honest. Oh, man. God, man. I'm just like a thing that's going to just got to express itself and they don't do it. And honestly, it's really does have a lot. This is, this is the, the this is the meat. This is the truth of this case is that the fact that I haven't been streaming is because of the suffering and duress that was induced to me by people on purpose. That's how easy this case is. And that's where, I don't know if the copyright stuff will actually even be uh, uh, triable in this case because the copyrights weren't filed till after I filed it in May. So if there's a stay and it's the same cause of action, it may be the case that I have to refile the copyright issues going forward because we're still well within the three-year statute of limitations. Um, and for, for many of these cop copyrights, if we do the injury, if they, if they see there's a, there's a, a sub law of copyright that says um, the injury rule, I think it's called something along that lines uh, that says it's basically the, the, the last date it was posted, right? The last date it was published. It's still up. It's still all up. It's all up. It's all up. And honestly, honestly, I just realized something. I actually, it's all up because of YouTube's own decision not to acknowledge my copyright ownership over that which their own terms of service gives me copyright ownership of. I'm going to win. I'm going to win this case like so big that it's going to shock and awe the world i believe i believe that i mean i'm also willing to say what i believe to be true and to have the world tell me i'm wrong but i believe without a shadow of a doubt that it will be such a grand judgment in my favor 
that it will be sad, a sad day for those who are on the other side of that judgment. Well, depending on what you think sad is, to be quite honest, I think justice is always amenable, as it were. Justice is always a good day for everyone, even people who don't feel it that day. What am I doing? I just want to mix. I want to. Ah, it's so much game, but it's also like lives. And it's also air conditioning. <laughs> It's like the walls fall down on me. It's like I'm caught in the tundra with no choice but to believe that if a man upstairs, he sees me down on me. He's the walls keep falling down on me. Yeah. When I know that I'm right When the world says I'm wrong It's like I'm singing the blues But they want an R&B song It's like that wave that crashes you down in your knees like the whole damn world just keeps on trying to deceive It's like the man upstairs Will he see me down on these knees? It's like the walls keep falling down on me The walls keep falling down on me it's like I'm caught in a tundra with no choice but to believe that the man of love don't see me down on his knees. It's like the walls keep falling down on me. The walls keep falling down on me. So take me out through the inside. You can see for yourself. Am I telling the truth? Or am I going to hell? The wave that crashes at you down the knees. It's like the whole damn world just keeps on abusing me and man. Upstairs, does it see me? It's out on my knees. It's like the walls keep falling down me. It's like the walls keep falling down me. It's like I'm caught in the tundra. No choice but to believe that the man above don't see down on my knees it's like the walls keep falling down on me it's like the walls keep falling down on me It's like that wave that crashes you down to your knees. It's like the whole damn world just keeps on lying to me. And I know the man upstairs, he'll see me down on my knees. And when the walls keep falling down on me, it's just like the whole fall down to me. It's like I'm caught in the tundra with no choice but to believe that the man upstairs can see me down on my knees. It's like the walls keep falling down on me. 
It's like the walls keep falling down on me. It's like the walls keep falling down on me. What an ordeal. What an ordeal. Pick the wrong one. You picked the wrong guy. You picked the wrong dude. I told you, don't do this. I gave you actually so many requests, and it's just like, no, no. I'm gonna keep on harassing you. And I'm just gonna keep, 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 keep on harassing you until you are. I think, what was it? Homeless and toothless. Right? Something like that. Homeless and toothless. As the judge noted in his analysis. Vile, 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 vermin, 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 vermin. Vermin like behavior. so gross so gross what happened to me and but it's okay because we're gonna push on through to the other side seriously this is an important case it's not just it's not it's an important case it's important that i win it and it's not just it is for my remedy most certainly Obviously, look at how traumatized I am. Look at how traumatized I am by the situation. <laughs> like, it, like, it's just a fact. Like, if, like, you would not see, you can't make it up that long. If it really didn't bother me, I wouldn't be talking about it. I wouldn't even be compelled to. The fact is that I'm overwhelmingly... Um, compelled to express what happened to make sure that it stops happening to me. And that I do be also believe that once it stops happening to me on a systemic level, then it won't happen so much in the system to anybody. And that's important to me. Uh, and also, I don't lie. I don't lie. So anything that you think you that I've said that 
anybody who watches me or has watched me thinks that I might have said was a lie. I'm telling you, my experience is that the people that I've sued have lied incessantly, like incessantly. And I have not lied at all. Not, not at all. If anything, I have been not, uh, I've been too scared to, to, to you know, the, the copyright issues. So when the judge asked me at the hearing or any of the copyrights currently. So at that point I had one copyright. It's possible it was being infringed, uh, in the in some of these clips but it wasn't it wasn't the the bulk of it wasn't copyrighted so i didn't own the copy own the registration sorry i don't want to say own the copyright own the registration which you must have before you sue for copyright infringement but live broadcasts such as this i'll have 89 more days after tomorrow to register it so if you take anyone takes this broadcast for instance so because it's a live broadcast uh, I actually have 90 days so I can suit you next week and file for registration in 80 days, potentially. And well, no, not potentially. Actually, it's true. The Supreme Court said that, uh, that, that live broadcasts are uh, subject to 90 day rule, which is on top of another 90 day rule, which I mean, if anybody knows this case at all, ask yourself, when I said 90-day rule, uh, did you think there was going to be a, another 90-day rule? Like, literally, there's another 90-day rule that doesn't have anything to do with that live broadcast 90-day rule. <laughs> but it's also in copyright law. So... If you want to talk about the complexities and the difficulties in asserting a law, a lawful case, if you will, or a claim, a legal claim, it's very hard. It's very hard. It's very difficult. It's very confusing. There's a lot of overlapping issues and there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, meandering and, and it's not so cut and dry. It can't be because humans aren't. So it's obviously the law that that makes sense. I and mean, it's just it's it's just especially kind of hurts when you it's like we were in the court. Like from my pers from my own personal point of view, I wish that we could have just done it in that in that courtroom. That was not that's just not how they do it, I guess. I mean Per, per the result, that's not how they do it. Do I want to go back into court? Well, no, I don't. But I'm absolutely, there's not even a slick of a chance that I'm not. And I think all three parties are t liable to potentially varying degrees. But honestly, those degrees, I don't know who's at the top and who's at the bottom. I don't know who has more and who has less because I don't lie. I don't lie, but these defendants seemingly do for their own personal gain. It's what it seems like to me. Um, oh, man, dude. Fuck. I have to lie. There's so much stuff that I've been like keeping in and just not like expressing to like on behalf of myself it's just and that's not right that's not right i deserve to speak w the truth honestly i speak the truth that's the fact and uh i i and i know i just to the other victims it sucks. I know exactly what you've gone through. I know what it's like. I know how hard it is. It sucks. I did. I said this two years ago. I knew how I could tell that how hard it was uh, on Justin Ray. 
And um, then it just sort of became like, oh, why? Why are they doing this? Like, why? Why? Simply why? Like, it makes no sense. It's sort of like a, it's so immature. It's like, it's like playground bullying, but like, like extreme. That's why. Why do people play around bully? For attention and kind of like pomp and circumstance. And that's why they do it in, in the grown-up life too. Is that they like – but it, guess what? It hurts too in grown-up life and it's also illegal. It's also illegal especially when you did it to the – I should have filed that yesterday in, in court. Oh. Jeff is there, and I believe that he's speaking through our meat. And they're like, dude, you need to take care of this business, okay? You need to get it done. And I, I'm with you guys. Brett's sister also died, which is like horrible. Um, uh, I love Brett's sister a lot, and I'll miss her, and but it's just this is life. This is life. This is life. It is this. This is it. This is what happens. As you grow up, you get older, and you die. But there's stuff that you got to do along the way. And there's something like inside me that says, you know what, Han? You've done this before. Just chill. Just chill, like chill about like, don't get too like death sucks, it's sad, but it's not like Jeff's gone. It's not like he's gone. He's still here in many ways. And I had all the symptoms of being depressed And I'm relying on you for my happiness And you give me these pills I'll stay in your arms you give me the chills Whenever you come Whenever you come Try to fix me up. You only psych me out. Fill me up with hope, hope and then crush you with doubt. You try to get me high. You drag me down. You only drag me down. You 
dripped my morphine in my bloodstream, but the light ain't what you think when I'm with you. I don't know what I'm taking. You're like a new medication. Then I'm the scripts for good pharmacy. Cause I got all my meds when you hear with me. A sudden drowns in mess, just like a drunk with a calm water. I'm cause if you ever leave me, I just go crazy. Down and you trip like morphine in my bloodstream, but the high ain't what you think. When I'm with you, I don't know what I'm taking. You're like a new medication. You trip like morphine in my bloodstream. But the high ain't what you think When I'm with you, I don't know what I'm taking Oh, you're like no medication Like a new medication Like a new medication Put on my blue suede shoes now. I boarded the plane and I touched down and landed the Delta Blues in the middle of the pouring rain. WC and they won't you watch out over me? And I've got a first. Plastic, but I'm as blue as a boy can be. Oh, then I'm walking in Memphis. I was walking with my feet and feet off the field. I'm walking in Memphis. Yeah. I don't really feel the way I feel. I saw the ghost of Ellis walking on Union Avenue to follow him up to the gates of Graceland. And I watched him walk right through the security. No, they didn't see us. No, they just hovered around the two. And there's a pretty little thing waiting for the king. Go down in the jungle room, yeah. And then I'm walking in Memphis. And I'm walking with my feet and feet on the wheel. Uh, I'm walking in Memphis. Do really feel the way I feel I'm walking in Memphis I was walking with my feet ten feet off of the field Oh, I was walking
talking in Memphis But do I ever feel the way I feel? I really feel the way I feel And there'll be a cap for some on the table And there's gospel in the air And the Reverend Green And we glad to see you When you haven't got a prayer Oh, you haven't got a prayer In Memphis, no Muriel playing piano Every Friday at the Hollywood on the Aspen, would you go and see her? And then she asked me if I would um, do a little number, yeah. So I just sang with all my might. She asked me, Todd, are you the crystal child? And I said, tell me tonight, oh, when I walk in Memphis, I'm walking with my feet ten feet off the bill. Oh, I'm walking in Memphis. Do I really feel the way I feel? Oh, when I'm walking in Memphis, I was walking with my feet ten feet off of you. Oh. I'm walking in Memphis. Do I feel the way I feel? Do I feel the way I feel? Oh, do I really feel the way I feel? Put on my blue suede shoes and I bought it. Plain. And it turns down the land of Delta Blues And we love pouring rain And I'm walking in Memphis And I'm just walking with my feet And my feet off me And I'm walking in Memphis To refill the way I feel I'm walking in Memphis. Yeah. I was walking in feet and feet off of you. Oh, and I'm walking in Memphis. Do I really feel the way I feel? Uh, do I really feel the way I feel? Uh, do I really feel the way? I I'm walking in Memphis. I was walking with my in Memphis. I was walking with my Memphis. But do I really feel the way I feel?
I just wanna sleep until you can't remember and check out of this old hotel. Any bar is empty from last night. I don't even care about the price. The empty bottles on the ground remind me how I'm feeling now. I should just admit that you were right. I'm at this hotel. By the look of things, ain't going well. See the writings on the wall, and I'm pacing through the empty halls. I'm stuck out of this old hotel tonight. I'm at this hotel. The look of things ain't going well. I see the writings on the wall, and I'm pacing through the empty halls. And I check out of this hotel tonight. I'm at this. And I've been hoping you can ring the bell and Me in the room upstairs Cause I go with you anywhere Check out of this old hotel tonight I'm at this old hotel And I look up things ain't going well And I see the writings on the wall And I'm chasing through the empty halls you got up this on hotel tonight. I'm at this hotel. And by the look of things ain't going well. I see the writings on the wall and I'm pissed through the empty halls. I'll check out of this on hotel tonight. Say my name, will you 
can't tear me up, you underestimate the value of a playback. Going on and on, when I play you back that song. Play you back that song. Can we say my name when you do me wrong? You underestimate the value of a playback. Going on that long, that's all you're wrong. For what I'm worth, and just be sure. Cause when I, I see the world, I'm gonna play you that song. Ah, basta, basta, vamos. Nos queremos oír algo nuevo, señor. Sí, sí. Oh, yo sí, obvio, yo quiero contigo. You know you're not right. We don't have to talk. Shots. Sometimes players good and some players that. Spend a little money for his little honey. No money, just hug me. Let the whole world know you love me, and that's all I ask for, and that's all I ask for. Don't expect anymore. No, you're not counting score. Both come out with made out of fancy dinner. Roll and you tell me much bigger. It's cooler than saying that you're older. Number that represents wisdom. All right, children. All right, children. Even when it don't look good. You and I still have a chance. A tree of love is what we have. A tree of love is what we have. Even when it gets too hard. And that's Africa. A tree of love is what we have. This truly real love. With you, ain't got nowhere to be. I'm exactly the right need. Making sure you're pleased. And that's all I ask for, and that's all I ask for. I don't expect anymore. It's not tequila. I know because you speak up. The same way you speak up. I don't need a speaker. I hear you complete love. 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 Even when it's on the cut, you and I still have a chance. A tree of love is what we have. Straight love is what we have, even when it gets too hard. It's Africa, a trail love is what we have. It's trail love, it's truly real love. It's hard to start a fight when it's down. It's hard to start a fight when it's good, when it's good. I know it when I see it, DNA, I don't believe it. I'm a biologist, it's a fine creature. Artwork, heart form, patient. Complacent. Why should I leave? Why should I? Leave? When it's just my view to see, when it don't look good, but you and I still have a chance. A tree in love is what we have. A tree in love is what we have. Even when it gets too hard, and that's Africa. A tree in love is what we have. A tree in love is truly real love. Uh-huh. This one's called Everything Comes Back. Everything comes back. All need to love each other. Stand in the way. Don't make a pain that we already know. Everything comes back. All need to love each other. Stand in the way. Gonna get paid down. We already know.
Jam, crank it up, talk with your body now. Oh, people losing. This is our last chance. Our last chance. Quick your job, turn off the news. Nothing left that you can do to get a past your future plans. Break the bank and burn your clothes. It's the end of what you know. Party till you hit the floor. At the end of the trial, I definitely knew what was going to happen about a week. I mean, I, I, week and a half prior to it, I, I, was trying uh i wanted to file a withdrawal without prejudice i felt that it was the correct move at the time considering all the judges input and uh google google's lawyer basically scared me out of it <laughs> basically uh everything i did in the whole case was to expedite and to make it easier on the, on the judicial system. Uh, that 30-day stay plus Google's denial is a pretty dang good indication of how it's going to work out in state court. The judge didn't have to stay it so that I could refer it to state court. If in fact, had he believed that it was not something to litigate over i believe he would have uh dismissed it without i think without prejudice because there were copyright issues in there and that could be amended that could be changed you know prior to the 
the statute of limitations, but still, I don't think he would have stayed. He didn't have to stay. It. He didn't have to stay. It. <laughs> he didn't have to stay. And, and honestly, I thought when he stayed it, it was at the hearing, but then didn't get input until the fourth, um, which was uh, confusing to me because I thought I heard him say that there was going to be a stay. And then uh, the stay didn't come until I think October 4th was the date of entry on the docket. Um, it was a short order and, and now I get it. And now I, and now I get it. Uh, I, I asked to amend for the judge and he denied that because, because nothing I said changed any of the facts, um, which is true. I mean, in, in a sense, I mean, I, I reinforced my copyright issue, but I said that I intended to get copyrights, which means that they weren't filed prior to the, this, uh, the starting of litigation, which would have meant that they were not applicable in federal court. Um, but now they would be, to be quite honest. Now it's very probable that it would be that. And it's very probable that they're very probable. Now it's very probable. I mean, I could refile it in the same court, but I, I think the harassment issue is not a federal court issue. It's a state issue, a state court issue, uh, period. I think that's, what the judge basically ruled. And I think that everybody that's ever, you know, that's a good thing to know. That's a great thing to know. But I mean, that's an important judiciary ruling. It's very important. It's a precedent. It is a precedent. It is a precedent. Oh, man. That is my question. Oh, 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 oh,
Gin, start tequila. I know cause the speaker, I've been saying cause the speaker, speaker, I hear it completely, I hear it completely, I hear it completely, I hear it completely, even when it don't look good, you and I still have a chance, a tree in love is what we have, a tree in love is what we have, even when it gets too hard, you ride for me and I die for you. A tree in love, what we have. A tree in love, it's truly real love. It's hard to start a fight when he's down. It's hard to start a fight when it's good, when he's good. I know it when I see a DNA, unbelief. I'm a biologist. He's such a fine creature, preaching like artwork. Got too much heart for him. Too patient, I'm just too complacent. Why can't I see? Why should I leave? Why should I leave when there's just more of you to see? Even when it don't look good. A tree in love is what we have. A tree in love is what we have. Even when it gets too hard. A tree in love is what we have. A tree in love is truly real love. Well, we already know. spend my life walking in a haze. Tell myself I won't go insane. Just keeping my cool, I know. I think I'll find a way. Sometimes I'm losing my mind when I know it. A risky behavior and I blow it. I'm trying to find peace of mind. I turn it around and then show it. Everything, it comes back. We all need to love each other. You're going to get paid then we already know. Oh, each other. Stand in the way, you're gonna get paid then. We already know what you want from me ain't mine. I don't have a thing. This is a lesson. You're learning a lesson now. Everything you got Take it from me. I know how hard it's been. Cause if I fall for a second, ain't no second passion. I still need you, cause I still do <laughs> everything. It comes back. We all need to love each other. Stand in the way, 
You're gonna get paved and we already know it comes back. Love each other, stand in the way. You're gonna get paved and we already know. Love right now. <laughs> One love now. One love right now. Everything it comes back. We all need to love each other. Stand in the way. You're gonna get paved and we already know. It comes back to love each other. Stand in the way. You're gonna get paved and we already know. Party to you. Have you heard that a world is coming to an end? We'll lose it all in the fall and never see each other again. It's the last chance to leave it up. Make it count. Talk with your body now. Forget about all the people looting. This is our last chance. Our last chance. Quit your job, turn off the news. Nothing left that we can do. Get a past your future plans. Break the bank and burn your clothes. It's the end of what we know. Party till you hit the floor. Dance floor, brighter than the sun, drinks pour, and don't stop till we're done, Mr. DJ, uh, turn it up, this is my jam, crank it up, talk with your body now, all the people looting, this is our last chance, our last chance, quit your job, turn off the news, there's nothing left that we can do. Get about your future plans. Break the bank and burn clothes. Oh, it's the end of what we know. Party till you hit the floor. <laughs> Boom, shot. Il vit dans moi. Il habite dans moi. Il habite chez mon corps. Mon corps. Mon corps. <coughs> Et là, non, non, on ne veut pas écouter ces chansons. On voudrait écouter d'autres chansons. Comme ça. Mais il y a des sept, euh, six. In chance, you made me feel that way. I mean, I know again. So many times that I thought I'd die. So insecure, here fill out my eyes. But I'm not giving in this time. What I should do to walk out of here on my own It feels like I've waited a thousand years to move on To move on But I had it all before I lost you I'm sorry now, but it's too late to make up For what I should know. I've been now, thank you for asking. I feel like shit, but I know how to mask it. 
Ain't it crazy when things come back around? When things come back around? I wouldn't lie if I could help it. I want you to know I won't tell you everything that's going on in my mind. If I could reach into your heart, would you let me take it apart? So I don't know who I am or where I'm standing. So tell me what I should do to walk out of here on my own. It feels like I've waited a thousand years to move on. To move on, not at all before I lost you, um, but it's too late to make up for what I should know. I'm better now, thank you for asking. I feel like shit, but I know how to mask it when things come back around. When things.
Look out above me, see it's not right. I'm working on taking you in flight. Decisions are counting. The decisions are counting. You said that it's alright. I can't even see the end in sight. I feel happy when I write. Pray for you and me tonight. And the winds come to Google, this is not the lawsuit that you think you want. I know you think that you might get away with something. I promise you this is not the lawsuit that you think you want because it's the wrong lawsuit for you to be in. But it's the right lawsuit in the same vein for you to be in. It's the right one. The wrong and the right. Like Gonzalez versus Google, for example, is the wrong one for the Supreme Court to hear. Todd Michael Schultz versus Michael C. Thompson is the right or Michael C. Thompson et al., which includes Gregory Holmes and Google. LLC, I guess. 